Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to kickflip. Alright, so for the kickflip, what you want to do is you want to have your back foot in ollie position. But one thing that I like to do is have your heel up and kind of lean on your toes more so that you really can pop it harder and get your kickflip a lot higher. So, um, and then your front foot, when you're first learning them, you want the front of your shoe to be kind of in the middle of the board both ways. So you want it right about here. And then you want to have your foot at almost a 45 degree angle so that you really make sure that you get the full rotation when you're learning them. So one thing you want to do when you're learning to kick flip is what you want to do is you want to pop and flick as hard as you can right here where the nose starts in that little pocket. So you want to pop with your toes hard, flick right there, but then that'll get the board spinning in the kick flip rotation. And then when you see it, you want to take your you want to take your shoes and just slam down on it and roll away. Now a couple problems that people have with um, the kick foot is they, uh, one, not getting enough rotation. So you're doing this, you're flicking, which is good, but you're landing upside down. Well, one thing that I found is that if you can get half rotation, and land on the board upside down, you're doing pretty good so far because that'll teach you to not be scared of landing it. Because a lot of people when they start kick flips, they flick it and it goes way out there and you can't land it at all. So that's actually good if you can just get half and land it upside down. Now once you can do that, what you wanna do Make sure that you're really popping hard and flicking straight out hard. That'll get you more rotation and you'll be ready to land on the board. Another thing is that some people, they don't flick quite enough. So they go like this, land primo and fall. That's something that happens a lot. And if you just commit to the kick flip, you'll land it soon enough. Um, another thing about the kickflips is that sometimes you have your foot like not on the board enough, it's over here. You pop and try to flick and your foot just comes off and the board goes down and then you go like that. That happens to me a lot when I'm tired or whatever. So you really want to make sure you have your foot on. And then once you start really getting it from here, you can move your foot up gradually until you get it like right under the bolt, like an inch or two below. And then um, one more thing you really, really want to make sure that you don't do that I used to do. is set up way down here, pop and just kick it down. That's the worst thing. Mob flips are the worst things you can do. You might be happy that you can kick flip, but trust me, when you try to learn them better and higher and everything, it's horrible and it's so hard to learn to flick. So make sure that you're not kicking it down when you pop. You want to make sure that you're flicking. Really make sure that your foot is turning and flicking right off that pocket. So that's about it. That's how to kick flip.